Okay, and welcome to the first video on Python for National Python. So what we're going to look at is assigning variables. Now a variable, you have to remember, is just an area of memory where we're going to store a particular value. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have a variable called number one. And I'm going to have a variable called number two. And if I say number one is equal to five and number two is equal to eight, if I save that, that is going to say that the variable number one has a value of number five. Now this is known as assigning. So we are assigning the, va the, val the variable called number one a value of five. Now there are various types of variables we can have. At nat five we will cover integers, which are whole numbers. Okay, you can have some string variables, so I'll just put an example here. So string variables could be something like people name equals the train. Now you remember string values are always surrounded by quotes. And what we call uh, real numbers, you can have for example that pi equals 3.14 or the price of something equals £12.99. That means that it has a decimal point. There are other types of variables. You can have um, what they call Boolean values. So that's saying whether a value is true or false. So for example, found equals false or pass equals true. Although pass, because it's when orange is a reserved word, so you can put something like test pass equals true. So we've got integers up at the top. We have string, an example of a string variable there. We've got some real numbers here and boolean values there. Another one we can have, which we'll deal with earlier, uh, later, 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 are called arrays. So this is when you have more than one value. So for example, say I had an array of a list of marks for a class test out of 10. I, I can store those in one variable. So, other things we can do is if we have a variable called number one, and we say number one is 10, and number two is five, what we can tell it to do is we tell it to print number one, we'll get the answer 10. And if we tell it to print number two, we should get the answer five. Now I can give them other values like we said, so for example I could say that number 1 now equals 15. I'll tell it to print number 1, it will say 15. So what I can also do is you can assign a value of a variable to another variable, so you can say that number 1 now equals number 2. And if you print number 1, we should get the answer. Why? Because what we said now is that number one equals the value that was in number two. When you're dealing with string variables, you would need to say that so pupil name isn't Mr. Hay, pupil name is Matthew. You'll notice that we put speech marks there and there. And if I tell it to print pupil name, we should get the word Matthew. <laughs> 